Hi, it's Mrs. Moss here, and we're going to talk about a, what a guided discussion is and what is expected of you during one. Now, this is also known as a Socratic seminar, and you will see this more and more as you take English during the next few years. But the important thing is to come prepared. Before you enter a discussion, you want to have all of your facts, all of your research, and all of your readings of the story done ahead of time. Now you are going to have to bring two copies of your notes. One copy will be the graphic organizer that you completed, and the other is going to be your annotations that are directly on the article or story that you are reading. You will have to have three quotes from that article or story, with the one aspect of discussion for each and you're going to create a minimum of two open-ended questions. All of this will go on your packet for the article and it will also go on that graphic organizer. You are going to have your information in front of you as you discuss. So what will the discussion look like? Well, we will begin by stating the overarching topic. In this case it will be, how should Atticus be remembered? You'll use your article to support your answer to this question. The first person will begin, and you will, that person will state the position they feel is important for Atticus being remembered. They'll read the quote that they chose from the article, and then they'll connect the quote to the position. Another person will then comment on either an agreement or a disagreement to what the first person had said. Now, the discussion will continue taking turns with one person saying their opinion about how Atticus should be remembered, giving evidence from the text to support their claim, and then others agreeing or disagreeing with that, with that person statement. And it will continue as a lively, fluid discussion. Now, let me give you some tips for success. First, you're going to have a sheet, and it looks similar to the one in the bottom there, but it's not purple. It has, uh, it's called a habits of discussion sheet. And if you're not sure how to start in on the conversation, these are some uh, sentence openers for you to use, to be polite and to appropriately have the discussion and keep the discussion going. You will use this sheet or your own um, just to keep, um, to be able to chime in on the conversation so that you can get credit for your opinions and statements. You will only use I statements, not using you statements, because we're not looking to debate anything. We're looking to discuss. A debate, you would combat one another. The discussion is a fluid discussion with agreeing or disagreeing. Everyone will participate multiple times. So again, as I said, if you're not sure how to jump in, you can use the discussion sheet or you can also pose one of the questions that you came in with that you wrote down. One of those open-ended questions can be used if there's a break in the conversation or a silence for a little bit. More tips for success, and I'm starting off at the same point as I just made. Everyone will participate multiple times. The more you participate, the better your grade. And you are to actively listen to one another because that's going to allow you to think of an idea of how you can um, get in on the conversation as well. Don't interrupt anyone who's speaking. Wait till they're finished and then appropriately jump in. Don't be afraid to state an opinion that's different. We would actually like that to happen. We want a dialogue. We want a conversation. We want to hear other people's points of view. So do not be afraid to say something that's different. Now with much success we've had in the past, I know we'll have success in, the, in this class too. Um, after we do that, we're going to reflect upon the class discussion. Now afterwards, this is a very important time to actually one of the most important components to our graded discussion or our Socratic seminar because it allows you to think back to how you were successful or unsuccessful and what you can do the next time to make your position stronger and to make your opinion known and to make your factual evidence clear to everyone. Uh, we're going to do this at the end of the class either the same day or maybe the next day. 
Now I want you to watch this short video. It's not long, but I want you to listen in and see how this class ran their graded discussion. Okay, um, enjoy, sit back. We will have a little bit different uh, format for handling our discussion than in this video. For example, they do an outer circle where some people observe, and they do an inner circle who, um, with a group of people who do all of the talking. In our graded discussion, you will be doing uh, all of the discussions. There will be no observers. Everyone will be a participant. So keep that in mind, but what I want you to realize is the way that people are taking turns and how they are interjecting their uh, opinions and stating the textual evidence. Enjoy. Let me get this up for you.